Hi, I hope all of you have been well. This week, we will be looking at how to critique studies that investigate the psychometric properties of an outcome measure. The paper we'll be looking at this week is by Cynthia Watson and colleagues, 2005. Their paper is examining the reliability and responsiveness of the lower extremity functional scale for people with anterior knee pain. They're comparing it with the anterior knee pain scale, which they have determined to be the gold standard for measuring patient-reported knee pain. There are many ways to critique outcome measure studies. In recent years, in the area of patient-reported outcome measures, there has been an international effort to standardize how we evaluate such studies. An initiative called Consensus-Based Standards for the Selection of Health Measurement Instruments, or COSMIN for short, has developed guidelines and checklists for health professionals for exactly this purpose. Now, much of these work has evolved over the years, and the documentation is extensive covering major areas of critical appraisal. Although it is a good initiative, my personal view is that the, document, the documentation and guidance needs to be more friendly to those who may not have expertise in research methodologies and statistics. Much of it can be quite a tough read and impenetrable for healthcare students who may not have the skills yet to cope with su some of the concepts. Nevertheless, this initiative is still a good starting point. We will be using parts of the COSMIN study design checklist, more specifically the sections on reliability and responsiveness to evaluate the paper by Cynthia Watson and colleagues. In the directed activities, I have noted for you the pages where the sections on reliability and responsiveness are within the COSMIN document. Each section will have specific questions or criteria relating to either reliability or responsiveness. What COSMIN has done is to create ratings on whether these criteria has been met. There are altogether four ratings, very good, adequate, doubtful, and inadequate. Each rating has its own description. So your job is to work through these criteria, using them to evaluate the research paper and give it an appropriate rating. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, that's easy. Now, my response to that would be, well, Sometimes it can be not as straightforward as you think as you think it is. But hey, this should be fun, right? So after you have evaluated the research paper and given your ratings, it's time to share your findings. I've created two discussion thread for this week where you can post your ratings to it. Although the Cosmin guidelines are good for the academic evaluation of research studies, what it doesn't do is to prompt you to think about the application of your findings to your own clinical practice and population. So this is something that you will have to bear in mind in the future. After reading any paper, always ask yourself, what is the application and relevance to your own clinical and professional practice? At the end of the day, much of these evaluations is to benefit and improve your assessment and treatment of your patients. Okay, I hope you get on well with this week's task, and I'll see all of you on the discussion boards. Bye!